Hello, welcome to .NET Shining Academy. In this video, we are actually going to learn how to do a performance test in ASP.NET Core using WRK. So to do the testing in WRK, make sure you have installed that stuff in your machine. Basically, the WRK is available in Linux platforms like Mac, Ubuntu kind of stuff. But if you wanted to try that in Windows, you can also use uh, Ubuntu uh, Bash in uh, Windows, uh, which is available only in Windows 10. So if you wanted to download and use that stuff, means you can click the description below and there is the link how to install the WRK in Windows 10 so that and the next thing is uh, if you wanted to install that in mac you can install using brew install wrk so in my machine it's already installed so and you can also install in the linux machines uh, the command uh, is uh, below in the description and let's start our testing so for the first thing what I'm going to do is to uh, navigate to the uh, our my project directory CD weekly core workout see weekly core workout and inside of that I'm going to create a folder called ASP.NET ASP.NET core test folder I'm going to get inside of that maybe not core test so what I'm going to do is to create a new web application so after creating the project successfully uh, I am going to navigate to the Visual Studio code So here is the actual code to run our server. So this will make our the ASP.NET Core web application to run. So the uh, so let's start our testing just by running our application. So what I'm going to do is to clear the screen and then uh, run my project. So .NET run. So I'm going to use this uh, compilation in the release mode, not in the debug mode. So I'm going to use the command iPhone C space release. So here the uh, .NET our project has uh, started running. Uh, so the second thing that I wanted to create is to create a duplicate tab of this uh, path. So here we are going to perform our test using WRK. WRK is basically a HTTP benchmarking tool, uh, benchmarking which means the performing the test between the uh, uh, platforms like uh, the server-side platforms or uh, the languages kind of stuff. So it is basically for the HTTP which means the web-based platforms and this tool is capable for uh, loading some uh, so this tool is capable of uh, running a benchmark uh, across the connections with the number of threads in a particular duration of time. So that is the actual purpose of using the WRK. So, so I'm going to type the command of WRK uh, for about for about the hundred connections. So the C iPhone C is for connection and the number of connections is going to be the hundred and the and the threads is going to be hundred and also the duration is going to be for about ten seconds. So the next thing I wanted to do is to copy the URL, which is the server URL from my running ASP.NET Core application. So then I'm going to click enter 
when I click enter what it actually do is to create uh, a testing of about the hundred connection which is hitting this project uh, at the particular number of threads within this duration so let's start the test so if we go over here the there are hitting the lot of uh, connections and the threads are running over here for about 10 seconds so after that it this WRK will perform the uh, the test and then it will show us the actual status about the test so here the status for this application is ASP.NET Core is capable of hitting 74,121 requests in 10.9 seconds and the latency would be this and this and this so this stuff may actually may vary depending upon the machine and depending upon the some kind of uh, strategies but this is the basic testing uh, with the performance testing for our application and this will vary if you had some lot of uh, API request you know, from the back end and uh, this is the basic thing to, to perform test you can do the testing for your project just using this command so that's it that's the whole point of this video Thank if you like this video please like and if you want more contents like this subscribe and click the notification icon to get connected with us and finally please share and if you have any doubts please uh, if you have any doubts make sure comment that below